Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about a powerful screen recording tool for Windows 11, which also has some other useful options such as video editing. So in this video, we're going to talk about iTop screen recorder. I'm going to show you where to download it from, where to try it from, and how the app looks and works. If you enjoy videos like these in which I show you different useful apps for Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future updates like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, you need to note that you can download the iTop screen recorder app for free from the link below in the video's description. And of course, the installation process is really, really simple. So don't forget the link will be down below in the description. Once you open the app, the app will look something like this. And you have here all the important features that you would want on a screen recorder. First of all, in the left side, you will note that you have four different sections. First of all, you have the record screen section. Of course, that includes uh, a microphone microphone, audio, even a webcam if you want. You have the audio recording section, you have the webcam recording section for which you have a few default options such as original background, blur background or replace the background which is I think really nice. And you also have the record game section where you can record gaming. This app is also really good for recording games. Up top here you can notice the shortcuts that you need to know in order to use the app. F9 to record, F10 to pause, F12 to screenshot and of course the resolution that you have on the recording region at the moment. If you click on this button, you can change the recording region. You can record full screen, you can select the region and you will be able to drag the region out that you want. Also, you have select window if you want to record a specific window and also fixed ratio 4x3 or 16 by 9 If you're recording videos for YouTube, of course, 16 by 9 is the way to go. And of course, you have the speaker which will record the system sounds and also the microphone here, mouse and also webcam. Make sure to click on these three lines and then settings to change also other useful settings. So you have recording settings, you can also add effects to your mouse, screenshots, webcam, of course. And here you can change the format. For example, here we have the original size format. And if we want, we can record 60 frames per second. Also the bit rate, you can leave it on auto. And also the quality can be on high or original. I recommend leaving the bit rate to auto because sometimes you don't need to have a high bit rate to record a standstill image, for example. And the bit rate won't increase the size of the video without any use. You also have some audio settings, of course, screenshot, hotkeys that you can change and so on. So now let's do a test recording. For example, I'm going to click on record. We have the three seconds countdown, the classic three seconds countdown. And now we can record a simple section where I right click on the desktop. We have a few buttons here. As you can see, we have the button which we can use to draw on the screen, which is also interesting and a few other things such as shapes and so on. So now I'm going to click on stop. As you saw, you also have there the option to take a screenshot. And we have here our video, which we can play, we can edit, can delete, or we also have other tools that we can do with it. Compress or denoise that would be best for audio. We can also upload to different platforms such as YouTube. And also as useful, you can click on open file location if you want to open the default location for that certain file. And in the right side, of course, we have the three sections that would be very useful. The screenshot section where we can click on it and it will open a different section of the software that will help us take a screenshot on our screen. We also have the video editor, which is very, very useful in my opinion. And you can click on it and it will open and you will be able to edit your video with some simple settings. You have quick editor or advanced editor. I'm going to go into the advanced editor so you can see how many options we have. I'm going to click on start a new creation. And here I think we can just open the location of this file and drag and drop our file into the media section. And as you can see, this is the video editor. I'm not going to edit the video, but I'm just going to show you really fast what options you have. You have stickers, text effects, transitions, filters. And of course, if you drag the video to the timeline, you have a whole bunch of options such as cutting and doing certain things with the recording. You also have the compressor, which will help compress your videos to smaller file sizes up to 70%. I think that is also really, really nice. You can just drag and drop your file here, change the location where you want to save it and the compression level normal by 30%, advanced by 50% and ultimate by 70%. But of course, ultimate will also decrease the quality. This is an overall review of the iTop screen recorder software. I think this is a really powerful software that can help you record also gaming, your screen, audio and so on, do edits your video, screenshot, compress and so on. I think this is a very, very powerful software. Don't forget that you can download it from the link below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also don't forget to subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one.
one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.